Welcome to SBS World News Australia Online for Monday the 1st of October. I'm Leroy Arben. In what is thought to be her first meeting with a foreigner for almost a year, Burma's detained opposition leader Aung San Suu Kyi has met United Nations Special Envoy Ibrahim Gambari. Mr Gambari is trying to mediate between Burma's military leaders and the opposition in an attempt to end the bloody crackdown of pro-democracy protests. Not quite a ghost town, but Rangoon is ominously quiet today. Burma's army firmly back in control. The monks who led the uprising now either jailed or besieged in their broken monasteries. These images, shot secretly, show the massive security operations smothering the city. Protests have become virtually impossible here. They've thrown a lot of troops at the problem. I hear there are about 15,000 have been um, dispersed in Rangoon. So outwardly it looks normal. Um, certain bits of the city look quite normal, but then you can turn a corner and there are some uh, quite substantial uh, military presences. Into this menacing atmosphere comes the United Nations Special Envoy hoping to broker a deal. But the odds are not looking good. Ibrahim Gambari met Burma's jailed democracy leader Aung San Suu Kyi last year. Today he saw her again. He also met some senior generals, though not yet, it seems, the key leaders. But these images suggest the regime may be immune to diplomacy. State television is now showing what it says is a pro-government rally. The generals trying to prove they enjoy popular support, despite all the evidence of the past few weeks. In Britain and around the world, protests are continuing against the military crackdown. In Trafalgar Square today, Burmese exiles desperate for news about their families. I'm not able to telephone Burma um, easily rec in, in recent days because they cut off all the telephone calls and internet connection. So uh, they're, they're, I'm, all, we're all, I'm obviously very worried, along with all my Burmese um, um, colleagues here. In Rangoon, opposition groups insist their struggle will go on in one form or another. But this is a nation in shock, the fate of hundreds of missing monks and civilians still unknown. The danger is that diplomacy has come too late. The authorities are back in control of the streets, so why should they compromise now? But the brutality of the past few days and the fury that it's provoked could still come back to haunt the generals.